Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Um, so for today's video, I'm going out on one of my local smaller lakes. Out of breath from carrying that big kayak around, but we are going to be out on the kayak today. Fishing some small water. Hopefully throwing some topwater frogs. And hopefully getting a lot of big blow-ups and some largemouth bass. So, it's already pretty early, so I don't think I'm going to do any B-roll or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and strap the GoPro straight on and get to fishing. Um, Man, carrying that thing, you guys should have seen the hill I had to carry this down. Here, I'm, I'm going to show you guys. All the way down from there to right here. So, I'm out of breath. I'm already tired. I got my workout in for the day. Now, all we got to do is catch fish, so stay tuned. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we're on the water. I'm basically right where I launched. I haven't even started fishing yet, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys kind of what I'm going to be throwing, or at least what I'm going to be starting off with, because um, this is a pretty good largemouth uh, lake. It's pretty small um, takes about probably two hours to make the whole lap so not gonna be fishing for too long today but I am gonna be starting off with this little black and blue um, I think it's a KVD frog um, it could be uh, Booyah I'm not completely sure on the brand on this but there's another look at that frog um, we did get a lot of rain last night and it's supposed to be pretty much bluebird skies today so that black color pattern um, should show up pretty well on this lake um, if that fails, I might end up throwing um, a jig or a Sanko, T-Rig, all of those have worked for me in the past. But the best part about this place is top water around this time of year is usually really good. And there's, I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but there's reeds, there's grass, there's trees. Perfect for a frog. Um, so we're going to get this frog in that water and hopefully get on some big largies. I'm going to go ahead and strap the GoPro on and hopefully we catch a toad. Oh my gosh, big old carp. Just spooked a Mondo. Oh, I can't wait to get that first blow up. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought, but when it happens, I hope it's a quality fish. I've caught nothing but one pound spots for the past two weeks. So I need, I need some big largies in my life. Kind of surprised I haven't caught a fish yet, um, especially on this bank. Um, my only hypothesis that for the reason that could be is that they're back in the flats spawning, which will be fun, not gonna lie, but it's kind of hoping for a top water day. Yeah, there's one. Oh my gosh. Well, there's the first blow up. For some reason, my drag is loose as hell. Freaking drag slipped on that fish. See if he'll come back, eat it again. Uh, that fish felt small though, or it looked small based on the blow up. So, not too worried. Definitely had it though. Yeah, oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish on the frog. Yeah. Oh, he choked the frog. Yeah, oh my gosh, that fish is fat. It looks so much bigger in the water. It's about probably one and a half pounder, but that is a largey, and that is our first fish of the day. Man, just look how he ate that frog. That thing is in his gullet. All right, guys, just wanted to give you guys kind of a uh, better look at this first fish. Um, maybe two pounder, uh, if we're being generous, but man, look how he just ate that frog. That thing is in his gullet, but pretty good fish. Um, feels good to catch a largey, that's for sure, but good fish to start off with. That means they're gonna be hitting top water today. I've gotten two blow ups so far, um, including this guy. First one, my drag slipped, and I ended up missing the fish, but um, I don't think it was gonna be as big as this one, but that is a nice first fish eating that frog and a good way to start this morning. So we're gonna get this guy back 
and um, hopefully get on some more fish. Hopefully get on some bigger fish. Let's get this frog out. There we go. Little black and blue uh, Strike King uh, KVD frog. All right, we're gonna get this guy back and hopefully get on some uh, some more fish. Uh, feels good to get the skunk out of the way, though, that's for sure. There he goes. Yeah, there's another one. I don't know if it's a good fish or not, though. Nope, this is a little small one, but there's our second frogfish of the day. He's all right. Oh, he's barely hooked. I didn't get a good hook set. Ah. No! Man, that's why I use the net. Oh well, we'll count him as number two, but oh, the fish wasn't that big, so not worried about losing him. Yep, there's a fish on the spinnerbait. Oh, I knew the spinnerbait would be a good idea. Oh, tiny fish, but man, it has been a minute since I've gotten hold of a fish. Um, got him right on that trailer hook, uh, pegged him, throwing the uh, Guggenbait's Zinger spinnerbait. And um, so I was throwing the frog around for a, um, a long while. I made my second lap and I didn't get any more blow ups. And, I was thinking it got windy again and I was like, you know what? Windy, murky water. My best bet right now is probably gonna be a throw spinner bait. Um, so it's good to get back on the board with this fish. Now this fish is tiny, not the size we're looking for, but it's good to get a fish in the boat. So maybe I can put a pattern together with this spinner bait. Um, I'm gonna keep throwing it around a little bit and see what happens, but we're gonna get this guy back. Hopefully get on some more bigger fish. So see you later, buddy. Hopefully we can get a couple more. Um, before I have to, you know, uh, before I have to dip out of here. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is um, kind of turn today into a vlog. Um, I'll tell you guys more about that later because I'm supposed to go fishing again later. Wait, there's one. There's another one. Yep. Please be a good fish. Please be a good fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spinnerbait. Spinnerbait was the good, was the idea. Come here. Yes, oh my gosh, back-to-back -back casts. Back-to-back -back casts. Okay, never, I don't know what I was trying to talk to you guys about, but that is fish number two on the spinnerbait. A little bit better fish. Um, probably about one, one and a half pounds um, on the Guggenbait's Zinger. I'm gonna go ahead and get the big camera out and give you guys a better look about that fish. All right, what is going on, guys? Um, it's about 9.30 a.m. Um, as you guys just saw, I caught a another fish on the spinnerbait. I thought he swam out of the net for a second there. I couldn't find him. Um, let me get him. He's kind of feisty. There we go. There's our fourth fish of the day on the Guggenbait's Zinger spinnerbait. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, but as I was saying, I think I was just kind of rambling before I caught that fish. Um, before I caught both those fishes, actually, um, about how I was kind of going to give up on today. Um, it wasn't going too well, but I just caught two fish in the same spot on a spinnerbait. This one's a nice one, uh, probably one and a half, maybe pushing two pounds. Um, but it's good that I'm kind of getting a pattern together going, so hopefully we catch a couple more fish. Um, and I know I was talking about kind of turning today's video into a vlog, um, which I might still be doing, but I'll tell you guys about that later. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to get back fishing and try to get some more fish on the spinnerbait. <sighs> See you later, buddy. All right, so I'm currently paddling uh, back to the dock, back kind of where I launched the kayak. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it today a day. Uh, I broke off that spinnerbait, unfortunately, and I didn't catch any more fish on it. Um, but four fish today, um, can't complain too much, especially since I was got on some uh, some okay largies, because in my past videos, pretty much all I've been catching is just spotted bass, one pound spotted bass, less than a pound spotted bass. So I was getting tired of those, so I said, you know what, I need to go and get on some largies. So. Um, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video, but right before I close today's video out I just want to kind of show you guys why I love this place so much um, This small lake is a great ecosystem. It's very diverse and it's kind of um, just kind of like a hidden gem for me near my house, so check this out
So as you guys can see, this place is juice. I mean, it just looks like frogs, chatterbaits. I mean, it just looks like you're gonna catch a 10 pound bass out of here. And while I have caught some big fish out of here, my old PB actually was like, like almost six pounds was out of here. Um, I haven't caught a big fish out of here in a while, but I'm definitely gonna be back because I know they're in here. I know there's some giant largemouth bass lurking in this lake somewhere. Um, but that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Now, I am going fishing later today. It's currently, uh, let's see what time it is. It's 11 o'clock. Um, stayed out here a little bit later than I wanted to, but I am gonna be taking the boat out later today, try to get on a nice evening bite on a big lake. Um, so that video is probably gonna be posted shortly after this one if it goes well and we do catch fish. Um, so look out for a double upload or look out for a video right after this one. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, even though we only caught four fish, I still had a great time out in this lake. I always love coming out to this lake and fishing, and it felt good to get back on the kayak. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. See you next time.